Hey guys, it's Blah Blah Peas and welcome back to some more Pokemon Fire Red. Last time we went through the Celadon game corner and defeated the Team Rocket boss. In this episode, we're going through the Celadon City Gym and here's the deal. You can choose your path to an extent and only fight a certain number of uh, trainers in this gym. You always could do that, but now you have to fight everybody. So, this, uh, this is actually the first gym, I believe, where you have to fight somebody. Every other gym, you could easily just go around them and just avoid them entirely, but this is the first time it's a requirement to fight at least one of them. Now, I switched off for Lizardon to go out front because every single Pokemon in here is weak to fire. And flying. And ice. But anyway, I digress. This entire gym can be basically sweet swept. There we go. That's proper grammar. Um, so Lizardon can sit here and spam Ember on everything and one hit KO most of it. So I'm going to actually do that. Normally I skip battles, but for the sheer fact that this is an easy level grinding session and that most of these trainers are required anyway I mean shoot let me climb my levels a little bit because I'm pretty sure he learns flamethrower level 31 which is only well let's consider me being level 29 already that's two levels away so yeah I think it's kind of worth fighting these guys it, it's easy and I get some good experience out of it, and then I can be really ready for the gym leader. Or actually, wouldn't it be awesome if I learned Flamethrower against the gym leader? Oh, wow. I can't believe that Oddish lived. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was like, oh, look, he does have a little sliver of health. Or she, rather. The female icon. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, this is going to be one of the shorter episodes in the entire series for the sheer fact that I started with the fire type. And like I showed before in the game corner, you can get flamethrower or ice beam as a TM and any water type Pokemon basically can learn ice beam. I was about to say any water type Pokemon can learn any ice type move, but that is definitely not the case. But basically every water type Pokemon can learn the ice beam TM because it's through TM. And it's literally just frozen water so there you go if you chose to get a dratini from the game corner this place is level grind heaven if your pokemon are in the upper 20s and your dratini is only level 18 because you just started teach it flamethrower and or ice beam and just sweep the extra power move will make up for its lack of levels and stats, and then you'll probably just two hit KO everything and get to the mid 20s by the end of the gym. So, while it does take a while to get fully evolved because it's not to level 55, um, you could still use it very well at these uh, earlier stages. Now, weren't you peeking in here earlier? No, that, first of all, you're confusing a 10-year-old with an old man that basically resembles Master Roshi. How do you confuse a 10-year-old with someone that resembles Master Roshi? That's like confusing Goku and Master Roshi. Just, no, absolutely not. You and your Bulbasaur, get out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy, I need flamethrower bad. <laughs> I need it so bad. Oh man. Come on, wake up. Oh, I was hoping for a first turn wake up. That would have been awesome. Watch you get a crit and do like four damage. Or not get a crit at all and do 10 damage. Thank you for waking up, Lizard On. I, I definitely needed that right there. <laughs> All right, but now we're level 30, one level away. And I could just use a rare candy, but I'd rather save those for late game when I don't plan on using it anywhere else. Um, Ember, because the thing is, 
you need more and more experience as you level up to get to the next level. And hi, you're burned. Poison me all you want. You're burned. You're gonna die before me. Um. So you'd much rather use a rare candy when you need 50,000 experience to level up rather than 5,000. You know, I mean, which saves more time. So I'm probably just gonna save all my rare candies till the end and level up whoever's a little imbalanced or just overpower one of my Pokemon, who knows? That's what I ended up doing. That's what I ended up doing for Pokemon Fire Red, and I just overpowered Slowbro, if I recall correctly. Because Slowbro's a monster. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, I was gonna. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. See, this is the guy that the girl mistook me for. Awkward. Anyway, I think if we go straight ahead, we can now just straight up fight the gym leader. No, we cannot. There's someone in the way. I forgot that once you get past here, you do have to fight somebody. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, let's leave you out front. Wait, how far are you from leveling up again? Oh, you just... Never mind. You're not even gonna get close to leveling up with one fight. I was gonna send out uh, some Wukong and just use Aerial Ace. Better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Um, I'm... I, I'm totally underestimating you guys. I mean... Well, actually, no. Underestimating means that... You're better than I think, but you're not better than I think. You're actually worse than I originally thought you would be. And here I was saying that there's no way Primate was actually going to level up in one fight. And then this chick has five Pokemon at a roughly 400 p. Okay, you, you would have gotten close. You know what? Nah, nah, I'm, I'm going to leave him out. I don't want to switch and get put to sleep or uh, poison. Actually, no, Primate can't be put to sleep. You can still get poisoned, though. Not worth the risk. I ain't playing that game. I'm playing sweep to victory. And now I'm about to get to level 31. I'm about to have Flamethrower right before the freaking gym leader. Hey, Ew. You, you paralyzed me. That's not cool, dude. How dare and that actually fully healed if I had also been paralyzed I would have been mad come on burn aw <laughs> I was sitting here open for a burn burning a grass type it's so fun and thanks for stealing two of my HP and healing one of your own not exactly delaying the inevitable here <laughs> I beat you in the same amount of time. Oh, so I don't learn Flamethrower right now. I must learn that at level 34 or something. I gotta check and see what level you learn Flamethrower at. So I've been wrong this entire episode. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on now. All right, well, I don't think it's gonna use a status inflicting move if I'm already paralyzed. If it does, this is awkward. There we go. Let's see how much Aerial Ace does. Oh, oh, it's a crit. Okay, so never mind. I'm sitting here like, hey, so Wukong's a beast. Crit. Uh, you're kind of a beast. I mean, shooting Pokemon Red and Blue, you would have been a beast with all those fast crits. All right, so when I went to heal, I went and looked up what level uh, Charmeleon learns Flamethrower at, and it is indeed level 34, as I had second guessed. I also recalled the reason why I was thinking that it was 31. Another Pokemon on my team to be learns a specific move at level 31, and that's the number that was just stuck in my head for whatever reason. Alright, so, um, let's go. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. Oh, so you're talking to sleep, Erica? 
My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. Uh-huh. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Get wrecked. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Then why would you even mention your Pokemon? Very well, but I shall not lose. Yes, you shall. You shall lose. I shall win. Heads I win, tails you lose. You don't have the right to choose. All right, so Victory Bell, her first Pokemon, which is actually one of her stronger ones. Yeah, her first Pokemon is not her weakest, as with other gym leaders. So Victory Bell, level 29, with the moves Stun Spore, Acid, Poison Drain, and Giga Drain. I'm sorry, not Poison Drain, Poison Powder. Um, <laughs> Poison Drain. Wow, just what, draining the type poison from a Pokemon? That, that'd be a useless, like, <laughs> I mean, no, it wouldn't be useless, because then you could poison poison types by taking away their type. Uh, that, that'd be interesting, actually. Oh, wow. Anyway, accidental move makeup things aside. Uh, yeah, this Victory Bell is level 29, which is one of the stronger Pokemon that you've seen in the game so far. But what's weird is that her second Pokemon, typically, is Tangela, level 24, Poison Powder, Synthesis, Ingrain, and Giga Drain. Level 24, though. Why level 24, though? Now, Ingrain is a move that allows you to heal at the end of every turn. It's basically another form of leftovers in the form of a move. But Tangela itself isn't that great, so it kind of goes down pretty fast. Now, the last Pokemon is just like Victory Bell and evolves fully with a Leaf Stone. Vile Plume, level 29 once again with the moves Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, Acid, and Giga Drain. So, with the exception of the Poison Powder switched out for Sleep Powder, basically the exact same moveset as the Victory Bell. But luckily, I've got Ember on my side, so as long as I don't get Parahax, I should win. stand for oh man I'm gonna go make the switch real quick I don't feel like healing and then para healing is just like nope not happening but yeah one move that everyone has in common is Giga Drain which is a power of 60 and then whatever damage you deal recovers half that amount dealt so if she deals 60 points of damage she'll heal 30. it's actually a really nice move if you have uh someone that can learn it i want to say it was buffed in later gens to be a uh, power of 80. I, I think that's the case but yeah these power hacks are gonna kill me literally as a matter of fact, that does it. Some Wukong's out. So that's a little annoying. Part of me is wishing that I went and taught Burger King Ice Beam now. <sighs> you resist all my moves except Dig is neutral. Well, that's annoying. I knew this thing was going to go for Stun Spore. It likes to paralyze you first, attack later. So, yeah, this kind of sucks. And now... Uh, I, I have to risk it. It resists everything else. So, what sucks here is that if I use Dig, it's a two-turn move. Which means, if I'm underground and I'm paralyzed, it, it'll stop the whole move and I have to attack again. Man, everything's paralyzed. You know what? You know what? I gotta have a paralyzed heal in here somewhere and if not, oh, there we go. We got two. I don't like using items unless I absolutely have to, but there we go. Man, that crit too. Man! Well, that sucks. Um, well, I got all these super potions I've been finding. I don't recall buying super potions. 
Have I bought a single super potion in this game? Are those all free? Oh, uh, thanks for taking pity on me, by the way. Man, if only Thunderbolt right here would paralyze it. I I'm actually aiming for that right now. Come on, 10% power hacks check. Let's go. Darn it. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen. Um, well, if it's going to keep using acid... I wait, does that mean it's out of Giga Drains? Is that what's happening here? Come on now. Come on, I should be able to survive one more. Even with... Yeah, with that defense drop. Um... And since I go second, it doesn't matter if I get paralyzed or not. Just, ugh! Well, it does matter because I don't do damn. I'm so done. I'm so done. You're dead. You are dead to me. And I'm about to make you dead to everyone else. Why are you such a pain? Why are you so vile, vile plume? Burn. Burn. Oh. Okay. Mm. This is the game we're playing now. Survive the power hacks and you win. Yeah, you are annoying. Freaking Vile Bloom, man. And now you're level 31. All right, player defeated, leader Erica. There we go. I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. Yeah, you must. All right, allow strength to be used outside of battle. We don't even have strength yet, but uh, thank you. And then Giga Drain. I don't believe Nido can can learn that. It'd be awesome if he could though. Cause that would make him even more of a pain than he already is. Yeah, I figure not. Yeah, I th for the most part, I think in this game only grass types can learn. No, that's that's a false statement because actually, I I'll go into it uh, next time because we're actually about to go to the area where we can find a Pokemon that can learn Giga Drain that is anything but a grass type. Funny enough, it is actually part poison type. Huh. That's fun to think about. But anyway, gonna go up to the Pokemon Center and heal. And I will see you guys next time in Lavender Town. See you guys then.